Welcome back to the channel guys. This is the third video this week and it is a q and I haven't done one of these for about a year or so. So I'm looking forward to it. I've got quite a few questions. I was surprised actually because I wasn't sure that you guys would ask me because I'm still quite small on like Instagram and YouTube and stuff. But you did ask me. I do apologise. My throat is very dry today and I do have a cold. So sorry if there's a couple of cuts in this because I've got to have some water. Question number... One, who's better at FIFA, your brother or you? Well, I don't play Xbox, I don't play PlayStation, barely play FIFA. I used to be a really big football fan when I was younger, then get into the gym, I'm not as of a big fan. My brother is better at FIFA than I am. What's your goal doing YouTube? Main goal is to impact and motivate as many people as I can, whether that's in the gym or out of the gym. I want to be someone that people look forward to watching his videos, following him online. <coughs> <coughs> See what I mean? I'm trying. It's something that I take very seriously, is putting yourself out there, you're open for a lot of criticism, people are gonna judge you. That doesn't really bother me, but as long as I'm being true to who I am and I'm putting a good message out there, I'm giving free information that people can take away, use for themselves, make a difference, make an impact. And I've got so many messages from people saying that that's been the case. And once you keep getting that, you just want to keep doing it. And it's an addiction because if you can help one person, you can help more people. Then when you start realizing the impact that you have been making, all you want to do is keep putting more videos out. So my main goal is to impact as many people as I can and build an interactive community who just want to help each other. I think I can do that. Within time, within time. Proudest moment. Okay, my proudest moment happened quite recently, and that was when I went to Gymshark. This happened because, well, I have a video on this, which will be linked down below if you want to go and check it out. Worked part-time weight trios, and then was doing my part-time PT. Quit weight trios, and was like, how am I gonna like, get within the fitness industry, or like, how am I gonna like learn the ropes and things like that? So I messaged a guy on Instagram called Noel Max, CCO at Gymshark, saying that I work for you for free, I just want to shadow, I want to learn. I uh, don't want to get paid because what you learn from them, you can use in the long run. So don't worry about a quick paycheck. I say that in the video. And yeah, he invited me up for like an interview. We sat down, I was there for about three hours. Then he invited me for five days of work experience. About two weeks later, I learned, <coughs> <coughs> I learned about the socials, the sponsorship team, and then I did an assignment. But if you want to know what the assignment's about, videos down there. It was so much fun, it was just a proud moment for me because I went to Birmingham by myself with my own money. I stayed in a hotel for five days on my own. I'd never done that before. So yeah, it was just an experience I will never forget and I want to keep using that momentum with the three videos a week doing this series. Helping people out online and just, yeah, that was a very big turning point for me. Um, what are the meaning behind your tattoos? Except for one, all of them have meaning. They relate to my dad uh, and my family and stuff. But my hand literally is like, is it Day of the Dead or Dawn of the Dead? I think it's Day of the Dead. I think that's how you pronounce it. Just saw it, thought it looked cool. Got it on my hand. And there's, there's one thing I don't like about the hand tattoo now. It's like the, the webs on the forehead, if you can see right there. But I'm, I'm not really too bothered. I'll get used to it after a while. Then I've got my dad's init um, date of birth here, sorry. And then a rose, just to symbolize love. I have father and son right here. I have some wings. Not gonna lie, I'm not really big fan of the wings. A lot of people do like them. I think it's just because it's all patchy and they need to get it filled in. But tattoos do cost a lot if you want them to be done correctly. Which I didn't do. So half, literally my like half sleeve has been done and touched up about three times. I still don't like it because I've got it done by the wrong person and they used the wrong needles and stuff. So make sure you get it done properly. How can you fit leg sessions in when playing sports such as football? Depending on your frequency, how often you're playing football. So I'd say Maybe you train twice a week and then you have a game at the weekend. So you're using your legs at least three times a week. Uh, and that's a lot of endurance based. You're not necessarily doing any weight training. You can fit one weight training session in at least. And you can probably do that, I'd say, on a Monday. Even if you have your training session, just do it before because you won't have like enough rest in between depending on when your sessions are. And do a lot of plyometric work to improve your power, increase your speed and your strength and stuff because that's going to help you towards your goal of playing football. So yeah, just you can fit one in, maybe do like a lower body and then do upper body um, later on during the week because if you're doing a lot of training, you don't want to like 
burn yourself out. How do you keep such a consistent work ethic every day? You have to have a purpose and a goal to work towards, otherwise you're not gonna have that work ethic <coughs> and that consistency to want to like keep things up. And people are referring to the fact that on my Instagram stories, if you don't follow me, it's gonna be here. Also link down below. I'll go to bed late, I'll wake up early, and like it changes sometimes depending, but I wake up at half past four, or I'll go to bed at like three o'clock in the morning, and I'm a big advocate for sleep. However, sometimes you lose it because you can't switch off because you're thinking too much about what it is that you want to do, or you just have so much work to do, and if you're like me, you procrastinate, you, you leave it during the day sometimes, and you've got to keep working on it, and like, make sure you're up to date. My procrastination since, like, for the last like two months, hasn't been that bad. I get it done, bish, bash, bosh, and I'm not really waiting around too much, or just like, in my thoughts as such. So, you keep up a consistent work ethic um, and efficiency, when you're doing something that you love, if you don't, you're not gonna do it. Like, I guarantee some of you that are watching this, you have a job that you don't care about, so you're not even bored if you're late. You don't even care if they say something good or bad about what you're doing or what your targets are. You just care about the paycheck. But when you're actually doing a job that you really enjoy, you care about all the other things and not as much as about the paycheck. And that's personally for me. The fact that I'm helping people and I hear them say like, you're changing my life, that's my paycheck. Can you make a video on how to do basic upper body stretches? That is on the screen right here. So go and check that out on my Instagram. Why do you do push-pull training instead of specific body parts? Also legs included in that, but the reason I do that is so I can hit the body part more during the week, um, frequency. So during those sessions such as push, add, pull, <coughs> I'll do about four exercises on each muscle group, if not five. And then if I'm doing that twice a week, I'm hitting it 10 times or so, whereas if I'm just doing it once a week, I'm hitting it about six, maybe five, six times. So it allows me to hit the muscle group even more during the week. And some people don't like doing push-pull legs or whatever way around you have it. They like hitting specific muscle groups and that's fine. There's no wrong or right about it. If that works for you, that works for you. All our bodies are different. I just like doing that because it's a, um, change up to what I'm normally used to. Next question. Would you ever compete in a bodybuilding physique show? I've explained this quite a few times and I've always said, no, nope, doesn't really appeal to me. I just, yeah, standing on a stage, as much as like I want to look good and be in great shape, uh, I don't really want to stand on stage and pose. It's not really my thing. So the answer to your question is, nope, I would not like to do a bodybuilding show. And then the next question is obviously, would Christian Guzman's summer shredding show ever interest you in competing in? No, but I'm using his motivation from his videos and his message and stuff to help me with my cut in itself and my cutting series, but no, I wouldn't, I still wouldn't. What food challenges have you got planned next? So if you haven't seen it already, beginning this week I did a dieting of Reese's Pieces for 24 hours. That was hard. I have an idea in mind of a couple of things I want to do, but I'm not gonna spoil it, okay? I'm not gonna spoil it. So you're gonna have to wait, because I believe you're gonna like what you're gonna watch. Because a lot of time and effort will be going into those videos. Trust me. Are you single? Hmm. Yep, yeah, no, I'm single. I'm lonely. I'm by myself. Do you take any supplements? Uh, no. No, no. <laughs> How old were you when you lost your virginity? <laughs> uh, I was actually 15. Yeah, it's quite young. I, I was in a relationship for like, I think it was just under two years. So yeah, I was 15. How are you addicted to caffeine? Okay, I've got asked this question a lot. I just think it's because I post like, the funny stuff with caffeine on my stories to try and make you guys laugh and you just think that I have it all the time. I wouldn't say I drink caffeine. I probably have caffeine maybe like, I'm gonna be honest, about three times a week. And you know, we all have things like that we shouldn't have too much of. And I know I said my diet's on point, like my eating is, but 
caffeine, like I probably have no more than about 200 milligrams, like throughout the day when I have that. But uh, I don't. I just like the buzz and the feeling I get from it. I know it's not the best, but I like it. I'm not addicted because there's times where I just go without them. But if I'm feeling a little bit like drained, a little bit tired, I need that extra boost, then yes, I'll have some. How old are you? I am 20 years old. I turned 20 in March. What's the one thing you want to do this year that you haven't done yet? Oh, that's a really good question, actually. What's one thing that I want to do this year that I haven't done yet? Okay, let's think, let's think. Okay, no, okay. One thing I want to do this year that I haven't done is create a, create a business. And I know it takes a while to create a business, so it's not just going to happen this year. It's going to take a good couple of years. But this year, I really want to build up the foundation of my online personal training business, have a good website, have a load of programs, have the one-to-one, -one, and really put a lot of my time and effort into this and start making that like my main focus. So by the end of this year, I would like to have a, an effective and sort of efficient online personal training business, basically, yeah. Would you move to America? Thing is, I can't say because I've never been. I've never been. I really want to. Like right now, my top three places to go on holiday is America, Australia, yeah, it'd probably be Canada. Yeah, those are the three places that I really want to go to right now. Couple more questions. Huh. Blondes or brunettes? Thing is, I've, I always thought it was brunettes. Like they're always like the people that, the hair color that I'd always go for on a girl. But now I'm not really too fussed. It doesn't bother me, but like past experiences, it's always been brunettes, but yeah, I don't really have a type, but if you put me on a spot and I had to choose from the, my track record, I would say brunettes, but I'm not really too bothered, not fast. Oh, okay, final question. I'm gonna end up on this one because I think it's good. Why did I start this cutting series? So, came away from Gymshark and I had learned so much. I picked up on quite a few things and I thought to myself, like, you need to put this to good use. You can't just go back home upload like one YouTube video and just be sort of mediocre on social media, you've got to start making an impact. And away from me, I just thought, jump in the deep end, you're going to change these bad habits like I mentioned, and you're going to do three videos a week. You're going to put it out there, you're going to say it, and you've got to stick to it. And then you've got to keep posting on all the other social medias too. And it's because I just wanted to help people, okay? I'd never done a cut before, like a proper cut. I'm not for a show or anything, but like, just the fact of getting lean and getting in good shape and seeing what I have to work with. Because I've always been kind of like a bulky-ish guy uh, and I've never, I've never actually been proper like, quote unquote like shredded. And I want to get like that, but I also want to do this as a journey that people can do it, that people can do it along with me. So yes, I'm small, so not a lot of people are gonna be doing that just yet, but this is conditioning me to get used to waking up every day, having to film, having to get angles, and think ahead, because that's something I've always struggled with. I've always used to speak, I always used to think of like in time, in a moment, what should I do for this, what should I do for that? Not like, okay, next week we're gonna do this video, we're gonna do that video, and be like really organized. So this is the reason why I've done this series. Again, it might not be the best at first, it's the first time that I've really committed to doing like a proper series. I've tried doing them in this, um, on this channel before and it's never worked because I just wasn't committed to it and it's always fluctuated up and down but right now like my mindset has changed completely I'm going to do I'll do another series or do something after the 12 weeks it might be a series but I'll still be doing like three videos a week if not four and just keep that momentum going because I love it and I want to help impact as many people as I can and um, like when you see the numbers going up like you forget sometimes that they're general people. Like pe people say to me like, oh, you're only on 342, but it's like put 342 people in a room. That's crazy. Like I did a talk in front of 25 or so people when I was back at college the other week and I was nervous then. But <coughs> yeah. I just want to impact and make a difference in people's lives. So that's why I started the series because I needed to prove something to myself. Not other people, just to myself, that Scott, you can do it. You can set a goal, you can achieve it. And then once you've done that, you set more.
Thank you guys for watching the video. That was the first Q&A that I've done in a long time. So hopefully I answered your questions okay and you're satisfied. And yeah, I enjoyed it. There was good questions and there were some funny questions too. And I'm sorry with the throat because even now when I'm talking, it's getting dry. <coughs> but we're still pumping out the videos. Next week is gonna be so good because I have quite a few things planned. So give the video a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one because you guys are the best.